So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the, like, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell the other champs, and today I'm going to show you how to capture your footage or how I capture my footage, my gaming footage, you know, whether you're going to stream or, you know, just want to record it so you can chop up some bits and put them on YouTube or whatever. I'm going to show you what I've learned recording gameplay footage of, you know, how many laptops. I'm going to show you the cheap, free and easy way to do it that any laptop can do or any desktop. And I'm going to show you a piece of hardware or a couple of pieces of hardware that I use and one of them change my life like that sounds dramatic but it's like true so i'll quickly go over how i capture the footage for you guys when i do gaming reviews i'll bring the laptop in i'll connect it to my steam library or whatever on a hard drive and this pc here which is like i'm full on pc master race it works for me and most of the gameplay footage you get comes from this but i found a better way or a way that works better for me anyway now this is a Full on, you know, Threadripper system, you know, 16 cores, 128 gigs, Radeon 7, or I can put an RTX 2080 Ti in it, whatever, but I use the Radeon 7 and it's all AMD basically. And I have that Elgato capture card in there, which is the 4K60. That's an awesome piece of equipment and most of the gaming footage you've seen has been captured on that. I'll show you another way I capture it without hardware in a sec. And the way my sort of table set up here is a bit of a pain in the bum because I've got to actually make sure that the laptop is within HDMI cable length of the desktop that I'm capturing it to. So, you know, I have to, you know, move my keyboard out the way, put my, you know, laptop here that I'm testing, plug the HDMI into it, into my capture card. And a little pro tip is the best way to capture it is just disable the laptop's monitor. And actually, when you plug it into the capture card, it just thinks there's another monitor just display onto that and you can run whatever hertz because it is a 4K60. You can do 144 hertz, 1440p if you want, and you won't be limited. So some other capture cards, they might limit to you to the cap of the screen. You turn off the laptop screen and you capture straight into whatever, you know, in this case, the desktop. Although that works great, and this is my beast workstation, I don't use it. When I made that video, why? My laptops are better than desktops i wasn't joking i actually use my laptop to video edit most of the videos and when i do a content creation review on a laptop i will definitely use that particular laptop to edit a video so the thing is i can capture it to my desktop and I can chuck it up to my NAS, but then I've got to bring it back to the laptop that I'm editing on. Why am I doing that? It's just a bit more convoluted than it needs to be. But this thing here has changed my life. And this is the HD60S Plus. So it's a capture card from Elgato. You can use it for the Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. It'll capture anything you put HDMI into this. And this has changed my life. Now, I am PC master race. I love my PCs, but it's important to me whatever I get has to work Mac and PC because I have both and I edit on both. If I've got any footage that comes off my phone, like B footage, I'll edit on my Mac just because it's easier for me to airdrop. So it has to work on a Mac as well. So I'm going to concentrate on the Mac in this, but this will work exactly the same for PC. Now, I look at loads of capture cards and I'm talking about external ones like this one. Now, this HD60+. Plus can actually capture 4K. And I'll show you in a second the Mac how I do that. And like with no drivers, nothing. I like this amazed me what this could do. It's basically just got a HDMI in and out. It has audio in, so you can plug audio into this as well if you want. So you can use audio from this if you don't want to use it from, you know, your HDMI or whatever. And then you have a USB-C port and you plug that into the laptop, desktop, then you're going to capture the footage on. Also has pass-through, so you can do 4K60 pass-through if you want as well. Also does, of course, Full HD 60 FPS. This is the one to get because I was looking at a load of cards and as I said, it had to work Mac and PC. The only one I think that can compare to this is the Magewell USB one, 4K. And it's like, you know, triple the price. It's like, I don't understand why when this does everything that does. And it's Elgato, you know. I've got an Elgato capture card. Elgato the capture king, so... <laughs> 
you know, for streaming and stuff, you're going to have Elgato stuff. You know it's good quality, and I can attest to it because it actually really is. Now, well, look at this. This blew my mind. So all I've done is I've gone to the laptop that I'm going to capture footage from. I plug in HDMI straight into this Elgato, and then I'll plug a USB into the Mac, and that's it. That's all I've done. Then I went into the laptop, disabled the internal displays. I opened up QuickTime. That's all I've done. Open up QuickTime. No drivers, no software, no anything. Open QuickTime, when to make movie, record movie, and it shows up straight away in QuickTime. HD 60S Plus shows up. I can get the audio through there too. Press record, boom, I'm recording 4K from that laptop. Because when you connect the laptop to this HD 60S Plus, your laptop just thinks it's an external display or a display. So you just set the resolution there. I set it to 4K, boom, started recording into this Mac, and I'm recording 4K ProRes like ready for editing ProRes I don't have to record at the high quality ProRes I can record at 720 or whatever in quick time but this isn't using any software whatsoever so why this is game changing for me is when I review a laptop now I just plug it straight into the Mac or the XPS 15 I just record the gaming footage that I'm capturing straight into the laptop I'm gonna edit in and that saves me you know putting it into the desktop you know if I actually edit it on the desktop you know that would be good to use the Alcato capture card but I don't really use the desktop to edit I you know I would put it on a NAS or I put an external hard drive go to my laptop just too many steps and it's just so much better with this and this HD60 is amazing and of course you can use it on a desktop if you don't want to use one of your PCI slots or even if you've got a, like an iMac or something like that you can use it like that as well so amazing USB-C as well and the price point is just amazing for what you get. I mean, yeah, compared to that Magewell or Magwell or whatever the hell it is, nah, this is much better value and does everything that does. Now, sometimes I actually have to capture the gaming footage on the laptop itself that I'm actually testing the games on. And there's two easy ways to do this. You probably had that little thing come up, the Xbox thing, uh, record your game or whatever when you use Windows. That thing's amazing. It is so good. You just press Windows key G, bring it up, press record, boom, you're recording. And it doesn't impact the gaming performance that much. Like I captured gaming footage for the XPS 13 2 in 1 gaming review. Some of that footage was actually captured with the Windows capture. Just <laughs> Windows key G, boom, just press record and I was capturing the game footage. And the frames and the FPS... And you've got to remember, that doesn't have a graphics card. It's not a super powerful machine in terms of, you know, it's only quad core. And the gaming wasn't affected that much. So that is awesome utility in any Windows or any newer version of Windows. Check that out. Then also you got Shadow Play or whatever. You know, you got NVIDIA. You just press Alt Z, record, and that doesn't impact your gaming that much. It does a little bit, but not as much as like H.264 encoding and stuff like that. And you'll be surprised the amount of times I've captured footage for these reviews with just NVIDIA experience. They're the two cheap and free ways. Of course, you can use OBS and stuff like that. But OBS, it's a bit complicated. You know, Windows G... Boom, record, GeForce Experience, you just press Alt-Z, press record, boom. They just record straight into your videos folder. So they're really good and you can stream to YouTube and Twitch from those as well. They're the two free ways to do it, but this HD60S Plus, I, I think that's the go. Even if you've got a desktop, it just gives me more flexibility. It's an awesome device and yeah, highly recommend that. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.